my coach, obviously, just a great match for two very good volleyball teams. We just talk about you know the match and kind of the ebbs and flows of it tonight. Uh, well, we didn't start out very well. I thought we were a little tentative, and, I, and they were on fire, and they, you could see it in their eyes how determined they were. And I have to say, when the, the, when the men's ice hockey team walked in the door and they started going crazy, and then they really, they, we just fed off of that noise. And uh, I got to say, the home court was a huge advantage for us tonight. It just picked us up, and we started playing a lot better defense. We were more aggressive. Our block was better. We had a bounce in our step. So really, uh, we, our girls went to the ice hockey game today and cheered them on. They won in overtime, so they were in good spirits tonight, so everything worked out great. Yeah, um, yeah kind of like that second set, you kind of got your legs under your third set. You came out, they made a little run at the end, and then they, they carried them in the fourth set. And yeah. I actually saw the fourth set, 30-28, obviously. Both teams were playing their best for that point. I really have to credit the poise of our team. We were out of subs, so we were just trading back and forth who was going to set <laughs> between Julie and Caroline. We didn't have the block up there, but they kept themselves under control and thought out what they were going to do and then did it. So I really, you know, Caroline Dangell and Julie Nightwine just did a great job when they were playing out of position and all of a sudden they weren't setting and then they were setting, and, but our, and our whole team. You know, I, I really think it comes from kids being there before. You know, we've got seniors and juniors. We've been to the NCAA. We've you know had that season last year. So I really think that was probably a, a lot of it—the poise that they showed on the court when things were you know were tough. Yeah. How, how satisfying is this championship compared to maybe some of the others where this year maybe it wasn't? Obviously, well, you're still the favorite, but mm -hmm. maybe not as overwhelmingly favorite. Right. As well, I think think last year we knew we were going to get an at-large. Yeah. You know, even if we even while well, we weren't thinking that way, but this year this was it. If we didn't win, the season was over. And, you know, we were 11 and 11, you know, about three and a half weeks ago. And we just started playing better. And then we started beating NCAA teams from the NCAA last year, and we started getting confidence. And, you know, there was a number of different things that we did. We changed the lineup around a little bit. So, you know, this is probably one of the most satisfying because it was so unexpected that when, you know, I was, are we going to be 500, you know, at, at some point? <laughs> but then, you know, the determination of the girls, you know, and the belief in themselves and each other and the, the bonding of the team uh, was amazing these last couple of weeks. Then we just used that momentum going right into the NCAA. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Craig.